One in five restaurants closed nationwide after the first year of operations, according to national labor numbers. But as Sharon Chin shows us, low income entrepreneurs are getting the tools they need to succeed. Sharon? Well, there are lots of barriers to starting your own food business, like high labor costs, capital, expensive real estate. But this week's Jefferson Award winner gives business people a place at the table. Isabel Caudillo used to cook home-style Mexican food for customers out of her apartment. Today, she runs her own restaurant with her family, El Buen Comer, in San Francisco. It's really joyful that people come and enjoy the food. She's a graduate of La Cocina, the kitchen in Spanish. The nonprofit incubator in the Mission District, led by executive director Caleb Zikas. What are in those pots over there? Caleb knows the struggles of starting and sustaining a food business, especially for low-income women and immigrants. So if somebody has a vision and has a talent and has a determination to bring that product to market, I hope that our organization can ensure that they have the best chance of success possible. So the first thing that we offer is affordable commercial kitchen space. So chefs can grow their business with food like Nepalese dumplings and El Salvadoran pupusas. Uh, I wish you could smell this, the warmth of the curry. So good. Entrepreneurs who get accepted into La Cocina's three to five year program learn how to operate a business from licensing to marketing. Caleb connects them to opportunities like Isabel's restaurant site. It's a great feeling because she would never imagine, you know, that she would ever own a restaurant or be part of this. Lots of herbs. Yeah. yeah Staff yeah. and volunteers have trained 70 businesses in the incubator program. Half are still being mentored, and of the other half who've graduated, 90% are still in business. He's like the heart piece of La Cocina. Office manager Candy Rose credits Caleb's commitment. Yeah, I mean, I think that he just. Um, really wants everyone to succeed. Great. So for giving low-income entrepreneurs the ingredients for successful culinary businesses, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Caleb Zegas. La Cocina also puts on a food festival in San Francisco to showcase some of its talent. Caleb and the nonprofit have received national recognition. Inc. Magazine named him one of five community organizers making a difference, and he is doing that. We can see why. Yeah, yeah. Now we're program. all hungry. We are starving. <laughs> that looks so good. It's a great idea. Great.